Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm collabing with Huey from the channel Huey Rouge. We're each gonna talk about our top five favorite Aran fragrances. So if you want a little to know a little bit more about our favorites from Aran's line and a little bit more about us too, then keep watching. I reached out to Huey to do this uh, uh, do this review for a number of reasons. First, I love his channel and his content. He's such a beautiful soul. He's so passionate, so genuine, and just such a colorful, wonderful, amazing person. I love his Instagram. He's got beautiful photographs. And just generally, like, when I watch his content and when I talk to him, because we message on Instagram from time to time, I'm always just so happy. Like, I always leave conversations being very happy. We're both very excited and passionate about fragrances. And I think we're both discovering the same fragrances uh, around the same time. He'll send me a message, have you tried this? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And I'll be like, try this, try this. It's just, it's really cool to be able to share and experience new fragrances with somebody like in parallel. It's really, really cool. One of the things that I think kind of like brought Huey and I together, um, especially like with fragrances and like talking and communicating and sharing our love and passion for it, had to be Erin Fragrances. Now Erin is Erin Lauder. She's Estee Lauder's granddaughter. She's very rich, very sophisticated, very savvy businesswoman. And she has an entire line called Erin. And I've talked about it before in the past. I know Huey's gonna touch on a little bit of it too. So I'm not gonna go too in depth of it. But her entire line, there's this like artistic sophistication and it's pretty much cohesive across everything. It's cohesive across her fashion items, her home decor items, her beauty, like her makeup, and then most specifically her fragrances. Now, I don't think her fragrances get a lot of love. I think they're very underappreciated when it comes down to people talking about them or hyping them up. But I've noticed that her fragrances to me are just so beautiful. There's just something about them that just screams sophisticated, really easy to understand, really easy to wear, but really, really beautiful. So we decided, and I, I know Huey feels the same way, so we decided to pick our top five favorite Erin fragrances and share them with you. Now they're not in any particular order, but I am going to start with my favorite, but I'm going to let Huey start first. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing great today. My name is Huey Rouge and this is a collaboration video with Beauty Meow. And to start out, I just wanted to say how amazing she is with her videos. I always go to her in her videos when I want to discover a new fragrance because every time that she explains about a fragrance, she's so excited about it, so enthusiastic about it, and she's so truthful about the fragrance and basically half of her fragrances I have never heard or seen before so it's like a refreshment to me so Beauty Meow thank you so much for always giving us fresh new content that is truthful every time and I thank you so much for that and I thank you so much for including me in this collaboration so this collaboration will be about Erin fragrances you guys and she asked me to choose five of my favorite Erin fragrances now if you don't know who Erin is she is Estee Lauder's granddaughter and I have met Erin Lauder before you guys I will put a picture of her and me right here I met her in Chicago a couple years ago when they were having a beauty trend show Seriously, you guys, just being in Erin's presence, you know, makes you feel so successful already. Like, she portrays herself very, you know, well, very well-mannered. She's so elegant. She's successful. The way how she speaks is very majestic. I just absolutely love, you know, how she, you know, portrays herself and carries herself. Absolutely beautiful lady right there. And, of course, you guys, I love everything Estee Lauder. So, of course, I have to love Erin fragrances as well. So this video is going to be about our top five favorite Erin fragrances. And I must say that Erin fragrances, I feel like deserve more love. I feel like people should experience, you know, her fragrances more because her fragrances are beautiful, majestic, very unique, and she has everything for everyone. All right, so I am like blabbering on right now. So let's get started with my first favorite one. Uh, Beauty Meow, I don't know how you can, you know, make me choose just five because I love them all. They're all my babies. So for the sake of this video, let's just choose five for me to share with you guys. So let's get started on my first one. Now my first one is Erin 
Evening Rose Door right here. And the reason why I love this fragrance is because it's very sweet, it's very smoky, it's very intense. So I feel very sexy, I feel very sensual wearing this. You know, this is a great date night fragrance. This is a very great, like, you know, intimate time fragrance. It is so beautiful, you guys. So elegant and very luxurious as well. So that is why I love Aaron Evening so Rose my Door. top Aaron fragrance, my favorite has to be Rose de Grasse. This is one of the most beautiful rose fragrances ever. It is really, really gorgeous. And I'm saying that I am a rose fragrance lover. I love really jammy roses. I love oud rose combinations. I like really musky dated roses. I like garden roses. I like tea roses. I mean, like I like roses in just about any capacity. The only time I ever really kind of turn my nose down at rose fragrances is when I feel the combo is overdone too much and I and the fragrance is in like a new release and I'm kind of like do something new doesn't mean I don't like the fragrance I'm just not inspired by it, but it is a beautiful fragrance I would wear there is something about Rose de Grasse from Erin that is just really really beautiful first like I love her presentations her bottles are really cool uh, but when it comes down to it this fragrance is supposed to be like you were in grass there's this big beautiful rose in early in the morning and you smell it and that's pretty much what the inspiration for this fragrance is is like roses from grass so you have a big beautiful rose in here but there's still a little bit of greenness to that there's a little bit of brightness to it but there's this watery accord to this that is just absolutely beautiful it just smells like sweet dew on a rose and if sweet dew had a smell on a rose it would smell like this it is just breathtakingly beautiful it's a little bit sweet but it's not jammy it's a little bit heavy but it's still very effervescent and it's a very powerful rose fragrance without being too cloying or heavy it's actually very light and almost kind of like dancing on the skin really really beautiful rose fragrance i cannot talk enough good things about it so i my love second this one pick, so you guys i choose Aaron Tangerine Door right here. And the reason why I choose this fragrance is because it makes me feel safe. It makes me feel, you know, very comfortable. It makes me feel comfortable in my own skin. It makes me feel like I have like all the freedom in the world and like, you know, all the safety in the world. Such a magnificent, majestic fragrance. If you guys ever smelled Estee Lauder's Amber Ylang Ylang, I know that's been discontinued, but this is a great replacement for it. It smells almost identical, you guys. This smell so great. It's like I said, it's very smooth, it's very welcoming, it's very alluring, comfortable, and like I said, I feel very comfortable, I feel very safe with this fragrance. And another reason why I love this fragrance is when I wear this, I feel like the holidays are coming. So uh, I envision myself like, you know, in front of a fireplace, in front of like a Christmas tree, and just like, you know, um, gatherings, you know, with family and friends, and you know, just being cozy, and just having like an intimate time with family members, and that is the reason why I love Aaron's Mediterranean door. Honeysuckle. Now I've reviewed this fragrance and I have a few reviews on my channel but the thing is is when it came down to um, fragrances from Erin there's something about her kind of like white florals that I really appreciate. They're light, they're sparkling, they're effervescent, they're simplistic, but there is a beauty and just like a, an elegance to them. This one is no exception. Now I reviewed this fragrance and I will kind of briefly talk about this here. This fragrance doesn't really develop on the skin. It has two different types of fragrances in it. It has the opening and then in about, you know, like an hour or two later, you have the dry down. So the opening is a very bright, crisp citrus with just the littlest touch of honeysuckle in the background. It's really, really beautiful, perfect for hot weather. But the dry down, most of that citrus sparkle goes away and you're left with a very pure, but still very kind of minimalistic, elegant um, There is just a beautiful fragrance. clarity to this honeysuckle fragrance that I really, really enjoy. It's really, really nice. So for my hot weather environment, because I live in the tropics, this has been just one that I grab and wear all the time because it just works beautifully in humidity. It smells really nice. I adore the opening and I so really love it. Third the pick, you guys, we have Amber Musk Door right here and this fragrance packs a punch, you guys. It is, you know, very intense. It's very musky. It's, you know, um, very, um, like, it has like a leather-like essence to it. It's very, very, um, 
I don't know, it's very fierce, you guys. Every time I wear this fragrance, I feel so confident. I feel like I can take on the world. You know, every time when I'm feeling down, I wear this fragrance. I feel like I'm on top of the world, you guys. This is such amazing, you know, fragrance right here. It is, you know, it, it's a powerhouse, you guys. If you want to, you know, smell like, you know, like leather, if you want to smell like musk, if you want to smell, you know, very, um, what is it, um, like enticing, intoxicating, and exhilarating, definitely check out this fragrance right here, and that is the reason why I love Aaron's Amber Musk Door. This is one of my top, um, Aaron fragrances because I love jasmine. Now, the notes in this are honeysuckle, um, jasmine sambac. Egyptian jasmine, a tuberose, and sandalwood. This, kind of like the honeysuckle, has two lifespans to it, at least on my skin, but not nearly as abrasively different. It does kind of change a little bit. The opening I get is a lot of tuberose, honeysuckle, and jasmine. And as you wear it on the skin, and the tuberose kind of wears away a little bit, and then you're left with a very pure, beautiful jasmine fragrance with a really nice sandalwood undertone. I really like sandalwood and jasmine together. I think it's a beautiful combination. And this is definitely one of those fragrances that works beautifully. This isn't like a dated jasmine. This isn't like a heady, cloying, overtly powerful white floral jasmine. This is a very light, effervescent, um, jasmine fragrance that again oh, dances on this. Aaron fragrance is Aaron Tuberose Le Joux right here and you guys this is such an elegant you know very sparkly scent like it just wakes you up it smells so great you guys it's very elegant it smells really really expensive this is a great daytime scent you guys like you know it, I don't know like it just gives you like this vibrancy when you wear it it makes you glow it makes you have like a glowing aura when you wear this fragrance right here it's so beautiful and um like, seriously, it's very majestic, you guys. It is such a great fragrance, and the price is pretty hefty on this, but it is definitely worth it. So every time I wear this fragrance, I just feel very elegant. I feel like, you know, like very important. I feel like, you know, like a CEO or something, or I feel like a... What is it like? Like um, like a high class person of some sort, you guys. Absolutely beautiful fragrance right here. So that is the reason why I love Aaron Tuberose. I'm going to talk about kind of go together, and I'm going to talk about the differences in them. Is Evening Rose and Evening Rose Door. Now Evening Rose is an Evening Rose Door. You can only get it in size. Is the only one that I have in the 3.4 ounces. I do kind of wish I had it smaller because I kind of like the idea of them all matching, but I also wear this one a lot, so I'm okay with having the bigger size of this. Now, Evening Rose, this one specifically is a really beautiful jammy rose fragrance. It's got blackberry, it's got incense, uh, it's got a really strong, predominant, sweet, syrupy rose note. But what takes this to another level is, again, talking about how much I love jammy roses and the time... And the issues I have with rose fragrances are when the the composition or the combos are so familiar that there's nothing that differentiates them. What I love about this jammy rose is the cognac note. The cognac note really cuts through the really heavy jamminess and gives it a little bit of a booziness. <laughs> Just a little bit. Like you really have to search for it. But what that does is it adds a little bit more clarity to this fragrance. So kind of like how Rose de Grasse is a big, blooming, bright, heavy rose fragrance, but still very effervescent and light. The same can be said for this. This is a really rich, deep, heavy, jammy rose fragrance. But what lightens this up isn't like a citrus or a watery cord, it's a cognac note, which I think is really, really smart and really beautiful. Now going into Evening Rose Dior, we're going to be adding leather to this, and this is why this is really great. This takes that, removes that cognac note, and actually really celebrates the jam by adding almost like a creamy note to it. It smells a little bit more berryish, a little bit more tart, a little bit creamy. When you're smelling it on the cap or a strip, you really don't get the leather, but actually when it's on my skin, the leather is a little bit more predominant, which is what I really, really nice. You can also smell the incense in this more than that one. So the incense and the leather um, really are elevating the jam, but not making it too jammy or not making it to a point where it's just jam. 
it's giving it something else to hold on to it's giving it more complexity it's giving it more robustness rather than this being kind of like a sparkling very um boozy jammy rose fragrance this is kind of more of an incensey dark nighttime but just really sexy rose fragrance it's really really nice I also like the berry notes in here because the berry notes are specifically the blackberry is separate from the jam. Sometimes if you have berry notes like blackberries or strawberries or raspberries or red currant or anything like that with a rose, it immediately turns to jam and we all know what that means. And you don't differentiate the different notes. It all just comes together for this one jammy rose note, which I really like that note. But what I love about this is there is a jammy note um, a jammy rose note to it there we go our feeling to this and i feel like the sweetness with the rose comes from the lychee because there is lychee um a lychee note in here which is giving it the sweetness and is also helping the blackberry stand out and it's kind of a tartness which works really well so the tartness is paired with the incense and the leather really nicely but you still get that beautiful rich creamy almost like like creamy dessert but rose and jam. It's just really, really beautiful. Last but not least, you guys, fragrance. my final pick for this video is Aaron Tubros Le Soir right here. And the reason why I've chosen this fragrance is that it's also the opposite of Le Joux, but it still has, like, you know, that uh, vibrancy to it. It still has, like, you know, that uh, glowing, like, attributes to it. But at the same time, it has a lot of depth. It's dark, it's mysterious, it's very soothing. It's definitely a very smooth fragrance, you guys. I feel very glamorous when I wear this. I feel very beautiful. I feel like, you know, I am like a like like a high-class person somewhere, a very important person, VIP status right here. This is such a beautiful fragrance. It makes me feel like that. I absolutely love it, you guys. You guys really need to check this out. So that is another reason why I have chosen Aaron to so roll. There you have it, you guys. That is my top five favorite Aaron fragrances. I love them all. I love all of her fragrance, but Beauty Meow told me to choose only five. So I have picked five for you guys. I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. So I encourage you guys to really look for Erin fragrances. Definitely experience them because they are totally different from anything that's on the market right now. And once again, I thank you so much Beauty Meow for letting me collab with you on this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. That Bye. is my top five favorite Erin fragrances. You'll have to excuse me, I know I got a little bit wordy in there. I think, again, if I had to pick a favorite, it would most definitely be Rose de Grasse, but a very close second would be Evening Rose Dior. It's just a really beautiful fragrance. Again, I love the leather and the incense and the lychee and the blackberry in there, but still a gorgeous, rich, very sexy, robust, jammy rose fragrance, and I really enjoy that a lot. But all of our fragrances are really spectacular and they do deserve more love. So yeah, that's my picks and that's Huey's picks. Again, thank you guys so much for checking out this channel and watching this video. I would love to know, or we would love to know, what your guys' favorite Erin fragrances are. If you have any experience with them, good or bad, let me know in the comment section below. More importantly, I'm going to link Huey's channel below. He has a fantastic channel. It's a beautiful mixture of luxury skincare and beauty and fragrances. And he's just a really overall genuine, wonderful person. So if you're looking for another channel to check out, may I recommend Huey? His channel will be linked below. Definitely check him out. He is wonderful. Thank you so much to Huey for being part of the channel and taking the time to film the segments. Thank you so much. I loved having you and hope to have you again. And thank you guys so much for checking out. If you like videos like this and collabs like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know how to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time.